Welcome back everyone to another Texan tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to ena uh, enable custom themes to uh, Windows 7. In the same way as in Windows XP where you would have to pass some files, system files or theme files, and then you are allowed to uh, enable custom themes, this works the same way as well. We're going to do the same thing in Windows 7. So, this is what you're going to do. Uh, first off, you're going to download the program UX Team Multi-Patcher 7.1. Now this program will basically allow automatically uh, patch the important system files, um, the theme files, where you can enable custom themes. It's a small size, 317 KB. It works with Windows XP, Vista, and Windows 7. So uh, all you have to do is just download it and then extract it to your desktop, which I you can see right here. You open it up, and uh, you will get this window. So it will show all the compatible operating systems. I have Windows 7 Home Premium 64-bit. And uh, once you're good to go, you're going to click on the patch button, which is going to patch three main theme files. You're going to restart your computer, and once you log in, not much has changed when, when you do that, but uh, you are allowed to uh, install custom themes now. So once you finish patching and restarting your computer, now's your, now you have to find the theme you want. Best place to go to is DeviantArt because they've got the best themes. Uh, the link, by the way, links will be in the description, and now the link to the themes will also be in the uh, description. So, but I selected this one because this kind of fascinates me because um, this is the Zoom Quick Play theme, which is based on that uh, if you know the Zoom Media Player and the MP3, MP4 Player. I'm sure you know about it. Well, this is inspired by it, so. They have created a theme on it, it looks nice, so that's why I decided to download it. It's compatible with 64-bit, uh, so it's okay. Okay, so I already downloaded it, you can see on the desktop. Now this is the important bit, okay? So you can see themes, if I go there. Uh, since the taskbar is going to be in the bottom, I'll go there. And now you're going to see two main files, okay? One is the, the dot theme file, and the other one is the folder which has all the important theme files, okay? What you're going to do now is you're going to browse to the theme folder. You go to local disk C, Windows, scroll down to Resources, and then Themes. And now you're going to place those two files in here. Whatever the theme you get, uh, the folder and the file with the dot theme extension will be the same. They will be the same, trust me. Once you get those, you're going to copy those two. I'm going to copy them because I don't want to move them. And you're going to copy it right in there, in this Teams folder. Once you're done with that, you're going to right click and click on Personalize. And uh, it should load this up. If you go down, there you go, Zoom Quick Play. All you have to do is click it and the theme will be enabled. Now, I can't uh, switch themes while recording, so I'll click it and here's our new theme so I just changed it and there we go wow this really looks nice uh, you can see there's a black color taskbar and when I hover over them there are some circles instead of you know the sh reflecting square like thing now the reason why it's in the circle because it, it comes with these icons which uh, oh yeah here's the new explorer you can see it highlights in pink uh, I know that's good whatever but this looks kinda cool it's okay extras uh, icons, taskbar icons, PNG. These are the ones which you have to change icons to the uh, uh, for use with the taskbar, okay? Because there are like these circles around them, and you have to use them. It's pretty easy to do. Just create a shortcut of your program, change the icon of it, and just drag it to the taskbar, and good to go. Okay, and uh, they also come with the Photoshop files for the icons, so you can make your own icons if you want. I'm not really going to be bothered. And also, the Zoom Quick Play team comes with the UX Team Patcher. This is a different one. If you can see, I'll just open it up. And if I load it in English, it says Windows 7 Home Premium Edition 64 bit. This operating system needs patch three files. Uh, it's already patched. And for more details, just open this up and you will get something like this. You have to just click patch, patch, patch. It works the same way as the other Team Patcher, okay? And uh, what else does it come with? 
uh, start button bitmaps or you can change the orb over here uh, if you don't know how to do that all you need to do is uh, click on the button that's about to pop up on your screen I already made a video on it a long time ago how to change your Windows 7 startup you also get some cool wallpapers although these ones are kind of plain so I'm gonna stick with this and um, that's about it hope you enjoyed the video uh, if you want more sorry I completely forgot about my ending line hope you enjoyed the video if you didn't want to subscribe to my video uh, <laughs> subscribe my channel so uh, thanks for watching and have a great day